Hello, welcome to Arts Westchester's Virtual Art Workshops. My name is Vicki Youngman and I'm a teaching artist at Arts Westchester. Today we're going to make these funny little fish for summer out of salt dough. So let me show you what we'll need. We will need a half a cup of water and it needs to be warm water so you can warm it up in the microwave. We will need a half a cup of table salt and probably more like a full cup of uh, all-purpose white flour. I've already measured all of those and mixed them up here. So we'll just continue with that. You just mix all three ingredients in a bowl. And we, if it's sticky, like this might be, you can tell it's, it may be a little bit sticky. You can always add a little bit more flour to it and mix it up well. And then we'll take it out and we're gonna do a little bit more mixing on a wooden cutting board if you have one or a uh, placemat perhaps. Just remember if it does start to stick, uh, put some flour down and that will help. If it's super sticky, you can microwave the, the uh, salt dough itself and that will help it stiffen up some. Now, as I'm mixing this, you might want to also gather some other tools like a uh, plastic knife to cut with. You'll need uh, either a paper or a cardboard template, something very, very simple like this, just your simple fish form. Um, I sometimes use a chopstick to make some designs in the fish like scales. They're really just holes, but it gives you a feeling of texture. You might want something like that. One toothpick is all we need. And then when we get to the painting, you'll want some watercolors or acrylic or um, nail polish, anything like that. And of course you will need a little bit of water for the watercolor. Okay, so let's see how we're doing with mixing this. I think that we can take it out and mix it a little bit more here on the surface. And for one fish, this is plenty of salt dough. Okay, so let's see how well this is sticking together. Good, it's holding together pretty well. That's good. So we're, we're kneading it, I guess just like you would pizza dough. So it is starting to stick a bit. So I think we're gonna have to have some flour here on the surface, yeah. All right, so let's get a little bit of flour out here. And I think I'll leave some in my hands as well. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So you don't really need a rolling pin for this at all. You can just pat it out with your hands. And I'm just gonna cut from one side of it and then the other half we'll use for the bottom of the fish. This is just going to be the top of the fish. So take our plastic knife, we're gonna cut around the edge and we can use this dough here. Use the extra. I microwaved the dough and finished cutting it out. So now we have our basic fish form, which is going to be the top of the fish. So I'm gonna bend it a little bit, just like this, and put a piece of dough in here, which will help hold it up. It'll help keep this part popped up so it looks a little bit more animated and three-dimensional. So I have some dough here, we'll just take a little bit of this 
and I'm gonna put it inside here, make a ball, put it inside here and that will keep that up and actually strengthen that a little bit. It'll hold its shape better. Now I'm gonna put it on the dough that I have left and cut around, cut around the top form. Leave a little bit extra so I can make sure that I have enough to attach the two pieces together. And if you have enough clay, you can kind of cut a nice big round bottom lip. Let's see how that works. And you can add a, keep a little extra for the tail as well. Okay, because I microwaved it, it is a little bit stiff and I may have to add a touch of water here just along the edges to put these two halves together. Just, just a little bit. Basically what I wanna do is blend the top and the bottom right along this line. Yeah, just a, just a little bit of water. You don't wanna get it too wet. It won't hold its shape well if you do that. Okay, when we get to the tail, we could take actually a half a toothpick. You can break it in half and keep the tail up that way. And then when you microwave it again, we're gonna microwave it at the end before we paint it. And that will like bake the clay basically, so it'll help it keep its shape that way. Okay, so let's move this ball a little bit forward so we can keep the mouth open a little more. And we'll have some support to add the eyes here and also support to add a fin like on this one, I added a fin along here, along the, the top. But we'll start with the eyes. We have enough left over here, we can make a couple of eyes. And I'll make these a little bit smaller. Here on this one, I made them fairly big and this one too. So it's up to you what size you want. On this one I made some teeth instead of a tongue sticking out. So all of those little details are up to you. But we will get some two eyes here. Let's smooth out the surface of this dough a little bit though. Okay, we can attach those there just a tiny drop of water and take your toothpick and we're gonna scratch and attach just a bit here put your hand your finger underneath so you can press down and attach those two pieces so we're scratching and attaching we're score and slipping same thing okay we want it to stick enough yeah, there we go. So that we can get it in the microwave and stiffen it up a little bit. So you can use your chopstick or the end of a paintbrush handle and animate those eyes a little bit more. They don't have to be round. They can be a little bit like a pyramid shape. So this guy maybe could use a teeth or a tongue. We'll try a tongue. Okay, let's get some clay that's soft enough so that it will stick there. And that you can just press down, I think. My hands are a little wet. I guess we'll put a little bit of water in there. Okay. There we go, blended it so it's attached. Good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, he's ready for 
a microwave for a minute, put it on a, um, oh, a plate or a, a paper towel, if you have one handy, put it in the microwave and it'll be hot when you take it out of the microwave. So you wanna make sure not to touch it right away. Keep it on a, a plate or a lid or something like that before you take it out. And uh, so that way you're not handling it when it's really hot. So let's say that we have microwaved it and now we're gonna paint it. So you can paint it in any way you want to. Um, I'm just gonna finish painting this one that I started a while ago. We'll just put this one to the side right now. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. We're just going to get our water, pick whatever color we want. This one I have striped, this one uh, polka dots. So it's really up to you how you wanna finish it. The thing with this is you don't wanna get it too, too, too wet. So we can kind of finish with this pattern here. So you need some color that's fairly saturated. And you will just paint it however you want. It's kind of fun to make the eyes really pop out and, and the tongue and the lips. I emphasize those just to make it a little bit more lively and playful. So you can finish finish that and then you could microwave it one more time. It won't hurt it. Like this one I've microwaved a few times. So it's, it's fairly solid. Uh, it's not the clay, the dough is not moving anymore. It's pretty solid. So if you've enjoyed this virtual arts workshop today, please visit artsw.org. Thank you very much. Have fun. Bye-bye.